Good afternoon, everyone. I am Luke Rep M, as always. Um, not to panic you, I decided to wear my new AC Milan hoodie today because I really like this hoodie. It's very comfy and it's very cold and miserable today. So there's no Rafe Rovers top, but don't worry, I'm still doing the Rafe Rovers save um, for the few people that have been watching it. So, yeah, no need to panic. But anyway, um, yeah, so where we left us off last, we played four games, I think. So we played Ross County, we beat them, we drew against Motherwell, we beat Livingston, and uh, we only just beat Livingston, I think it was like the last minute of the game, last couple of minutes or something like that. 89th minute, there you go. Um, and then we beat Celtic again. So we are consistently beating Celtic, but we've got them in the Scottish Cup fourth round as well. So um, hopefully we can beat them in that as well, but we'll see. But yeah, we've got Dundee United next. Uh, hold on, let me just show you the Celtic game before I carry on. And uh, Anna Yamu scoring another important goal. He did, he's done that twice. He scored the winners in both of these games. A um, bit of a... I can't remember if he... If he hold on, let me check. I don't know if he's a super sub or if he actually just... Uh, I don't know. Oh, he was a sub in that one. Was he a sub in this one? Let's see. No, he started that game. But anyway, scored the winners in both of them games. Um, helped us win. Anyway, so yeah. So this episode, we've got Dundee United, Celtic in the Scottish Cup, Hearts, which is going to be a big game as well, and Falkirk. Let's have a look at the league table at the moment. So it's very, very close. We are only top by the skin of our neck by seven goal, seven goal difference. Uh, seven goals goal difference, sorry. Um, but Hearts are only three points behind us. Celtic are neck and neck with us. Hearts have got a game in hand, so they could technically, uh, they have a better goal difference than us. So it's all to play for. But I think I think I'm pretty confident that we're going to get top three this season, which which is still really good. Um, but I really really want to win the title in this season. I think I think that would be good. Um, but we'll see. Might have to do another season. We just don't know. Uh, Tezegel has gone on loan. Yeah, Tezegel's gone on loan. We've still got plenty of the season to go, by the way, as well, because we're only in January. So anything can happen. We could go on a bad run. There's no guarantee we'll get top three, actually, to be honest, in hindsight. There's loads of games left. Oh, uh, yeah, we've got some new signings. I'm just going to welcome them all, and then I'll let you... I'll show you them. So we've got this one here, called this player, called Omahan... Uh, Babascu. We signed him, a very highly rated player from Dundee United. We paid a hell of a lot of money for him. Um, but I think he'll be a really good player for us. Thomas uh, Amunda. You like a South American, decent goalkeeper, good cover, ball tickle. We signed Rocky Bushiri. The only reason I signed him was because I signed uh, Rocco and also had Nal Rocky. So I just wanted to get as many Rocky, Rocco versions as possible. Um, he's a decent defender, though. He'll be good cover. We've obviously got Rocco in. And then we've got this player here called Stefan Hodzic. We signed oh, signed for 2.3 million from a Serbian team I will not attempt to pronounce. But a very good player. Serbian international. Um, 21 years old. Got a good... Sellable value there. Um, very good aggression, teamwork and work rate. Balance, natural fitness and stamina. So hopefully he's got uh, a tank in him and he can keep going and keep going. And he, and he plays very well in a ball winning midfield position here as well. So he'll be perfect for us. He'll fit in nicely. Um, we did sell Chucky. He just didn't work out. But we have got a, I think we've got a future profit on him. Uh, future clause profit, sorry. Same with Darius Lipicic, who went to Cove Rangers. Uh, Camacho went as well. Just never worked out. So hopefully he can resurrect his career at Swansea. We've managed to beat a record transfer. The previous one was the 9.5 million we paid for for Emre Tezegel. So, uh, yeah. And uh, 
apparently we're after him. Mm. We've already made an offer for him. I'll leave that. It's only a loan, it's a loan offer. Oh, wrong thing. Hold on. Loan offer with a 7 million possible fee. Now, I, I think I'll let him go because I don't think he's ever going to play for us. But I'm going to try and insist on 100k. They're playing hardball here. We'll just keep going. I mean, if they don't, if they don't want him, they don't want him. There you go. Happy days, All right? Uh, let's get through these inboxes then before our next game. Second place or second place in the manager of the month. All right, Dundee United, they're fourth, so they're not going to be a pushover, but we just signed their best player. So hopefully he can start for us and uh, destroy his former team. Hopefully. They've had other offers now, but they don't want to pay the percentage. So there you go. We had a better offer for him. All right, let's try up in this now. There you go, so they're happy with that. And then I'm, what I'm going to do now is cancel the other offer for him. Oh, we've got a few clauses we need to catch out. Um, yep, yeah, so that one is no longer good enough. So there you go. Right, do worst. Uh, 1.3. I just I don't think we, I don't think they're ever going to sell him for for us. I think we just need to cash in the clause basically. Use that to buy Beeston's clauses. Uh, didn't work the first time I did it. Worked the second time. Right, I'll buy Medina's clause. Buy Valencia's clause. Oh, press the wrong thing then. Uh, I'll do the other one in a second. Just do this. Let's go back to the clauses. There we go. Right, we'll sign Louis Watson. There we go. Good midfielder. Uh, probably more likely to play on the wings or in the attacking midfield position because we don't play with any central midfielders. We usually play them just here behind. Uh, yeah, uh, we'll see how he gets on. Right, Dundee United now. Big game. Ah, oh, Babashu's not playing. Why is Babashu not playing? Is he injured? Oh, he might be injured. Hold on, I need to make that a little bit easier for me. Uh, yeah, he's not available, so he might be injured. Anyway, we'll crack on. Right then. Oh, I forgot to do the lineup. Tickling goal. Ayano is right back. Vivas and Beeston in defence. Bruce is left back. Hodges is making his debut, playing alongside Johnson. Um, Coelho on the right, Barr in the middle, Medina on the left, and Hoyland. Let's see how we get on. Hoyland is doing quite well at the moment. I'll have a look in a second. Uh, let's have a look at how many goals he scored. He's got 18 goals in 21 games so far, so he's having the best season he's had with us so far. So that's really good. We'll keep an eye on the other scores. We really could do with um, Hearts and Celtic losing their games, especially that Hearts have got a game ahead of us. Uh, I th I'm assuming that Celtics took the lead in their game. Yeah, they have. That's annoying. Right, Bruce is injured already. Well, knackered, I wouldn't say injured. Um... Rocco will have to play. We've had to take off two players already. It's only been 18 minutes. Ridiculous. Right, hopefully we've, we've uh, weakened Dundee United by signing their best player. Maybe not. Sus Suslov, who's probably, probably, uh, probably their replacement for the player we bought off them. Right, just need to do some, 
to move it about because he's not a natural left-sided player. He is. And then swap the with him. There you go. Right. 1-0 down is not ideal. We can get back in this game. Still very early. Passing it around to our goalkeeper is making me nervous though. Because usually that leads to a mistake. Oh, nice bit of slick pass in there. Look at that. Oh, beautiful pass. Go on. Oh, we were so unlucky there. Go on, keep going. Ah. Right, Ayano passes it to Hodzic. Oh, Hodzic with the poor pass there. Coella. I don't know who that was to. Oh, bloody hell. The defender nearly set to that player up there. Oh my god, Ruiz, who's only just come on, has got to come off now. Three players off now. Three bloody players. Right, Beeston with the throw in. Lose possession, get it back. We seem very nervous in this game. I think the pressure's getting to us. Yeah, the players are just all over the place in this game. It wouldn't surprise me if Dundee end up extending their lead in a minute. Oh, we got it back though. I stand corrected. Come on, let's concentrate a bit now. That's just, just... Oh my God. I'm amazed if we end up getting a goal here with all this really poor passing. Right. Can I hurry up and... Can I do a team shot, please? I don't... I never understand why we have to wait for this. Oh my God, we've got another player injured. And we can't take any more players on at the moment. Falling down like flies here. Oh. Yep. Well, then I think that's uh, I think that's put an end to our title challenge. I think that's safe to say. Hearts are winning. Celtics are drawing. Uh. Uh, I can't take any more players off. I've used them all. Aberdeen uh, win. That will help us in some way. Oh, Falkirk's got a goal back. Uh, oh, Aberdeen are winning. Ooh, ho, ho, ho. This makes it a little bit more interesting. Right, free kick to us. Can we get back in this game? Oh. Right, I need to fire up these players. They're all knackered though, bless them. Them. They're, all muck. They're all buggered. I can see Celtic equalising in a minute, so I'm going to get too excited. We're not going to get anything out of this game. We're just, we're just very lucky that Celtic have lost points. It does mean that Hearts are top though, but I do feel like they'd be easier to topple. We're playing Hearts in this episode as well. So hopefully we can get that out. Oh, Beeston, there you go. Beeston sent off. Great. Yep, lost the ball. These players obviously don't want to win the title. They just pressure's got to them, and they've lost. Fair play to Dundee United. They've uh, picked us apart in this in this game. Oh, Aberdeen winning three one. Oh, three. Come on, come on, Falkirk. Ah, oh, Falkirk got an equaliser. Then we'd have been all right. Right. So we're all right. It's not as bad as I thought it would be. Um, but Hearts have got a game ahead of us, so you know that would be annoying that the one season Celtic don't win the title, we don't end up capitalising on that. Right, let's have a look at the squad because they all look knackered. Yeah, a couple of these we need to rest them. Oh. So let's send them on holiday for a week. Right, so that's that. There you go. Right, when's our next game? 11 days, so they'll be back by then anyway. Right, I'll be back in a minute, the next part of the episode. And we're back. Uh, we'll just ho we holiday for 11 days, so we'll just go through the inbox items. Uh, right, good enough to be a squad player for us, Richie Moran. Yeah, probably right on that one. 
So we'll, we'll call him. And uh, let me just check yep, the time. Right. Um, I think I'm going to get rid of him because he's just never going to play. Taking up space and wages. Uh, same with him. He's just, I just don't think he's good enough. Uh, Jamie Valencia. I'll send him out on loan. He is a good player for the future, but whether he'll become a first team regular with us, I don't know. Well, apparently the match has been rescheduled. So, okay. Right, so we've got Lennon Weedland Weedland coming in. Buy now. We'll buy him now. No, he's too old. Uh too old. Oh, Che Adams. Good to have a Scottish international in the club, even though he'll be 33 by the time he gets here. Uh, 31 years old, bloody hell. No, he's not good enough. Get rid of him off the shortlist, I think. Right. Ooh, we're getting more money for him, aren't we? Um, Higgins, send him out on loan. He's a good goalkeeper in the making, he is, uh, Higgins. Could end up being our number one for a while. Um, ah, right. We've signed him on loan, Mitchell Backer. Good player to good competition for Bruce and also good cover as well. He's ambitious, so that's good. Get Hoyland to welcome to the club. We've got a Rocco Rios Novo. So we've got a few Rockies in here. He's going there because he's just not playing and he's not good enough. Forgot we had him. So we had two Roccos, a Rocky and a now Rocky. Uh, Trying to go through these as quick as possible. So Richard Moran's back. Ayano's not happy. Squad status has been changed, but we've convinced him otherwise. But Wielden in. Wielden. Wielden. There you go. Wielden. There you go. Good player. Uh, let's have a look at the. Right, so now we're going to reject these two because we've had better offers. We'll make a decent amount on him at the end of the day. 200k for a player that would probably never play for us. Plus 40% profit. Can't complain too much. Actually, we won't be able to bring in uh, Che Adams early. 
because um, hope we can buy him now after we agree to sign him. Oh, the better offers just keep coming and coming for him. Right. And we just uh, reject these are no longer good enough. 250k, they're bloody mad. Right, we've got Celtic tomorrow. It was supposed to be today, but got rearranged for the next day for TV reasons, but can't complain too much because we get more money, hopefully. Hopefully we can beat Celtic. So we've got, a, it's going to be a big episode this one because we're playing Celtic in the cup and then Hearts in the league. Oh, bloody hell, 270. Do you know what? We really want him. Let's try 350. Maybe we're pushing our luck here, but we'll see. Oh, bloody hell. Imagine if I can just keep doing this until we get to about 5 million. <laughs> Ain't gonna happen, but it would be funny. Right, Babascu was injured, now he's back, so hopefully he'll play this game. Uh, tickling goal, Ayano is uh, right back. Vivas and now Rocky is in centre defence. Um, Baka makes his debut as left back. Petrovic and Hodgic in midfield. And then we've got Coella on the right. Omahan, which is, yeah, uh, Babascu, so we'll just call it Omahan. In the middle, Rue is on the left and Hoyland up front. So I feel like we've made some improvements to that team now. Hopefully we will do well against Celtic. The new signings will contribute. Hodgic looks good already. Uh, Hodges, who played the last game, played really well. He's got a good pass on him as well. Right, nothing so far after nine, after 20 minutes played. No highlights. Oh, here you go. There's highlights to us. We seem to be, by looking at the stats, we seem to be the better team, even though our XG is only 0.08. Rivas playing it out from defence. Ayano loses it, though. What the hell are you doing? Oh, we intercept it. Hodges, see, this is what I'm telling you. Hodges, Hodges is the future. Ruiz, oh, lucky Ruiz. Right, Daniel Ruiz with the corner. He knows how to do a decent corner against Celtic. We lose the ball. Celtic are on the counter attack. Oh, for God's sake, what are you doing? Oh, that's all right. I was worried then he was getting sent off. Oh, great. We're giving them a penalty. We're very sloppy in, def uh, in our tackles in this game. Typical. They've had no shots on target, and then they get a bloody penalty in their score. Yep. Typical, typical. FM summed up to a T there. Yeah, of course your XG is going to be 0.79 now. Right, can we get back in this game? It's not the end of the world if we lose this game, but I'd rather just keep... I want to try and progress as far as I can in the Scottish Cup. I would like to win it. I think I've fixed the issues with my laptop, by the way. Um, so it wasn't necessarily... It wasn't the save. It was something to do with my laptop. But I think I've managed to sort it. Right, Hoyland's not playing very well, so we'll put Anayamu on, who obviously did well last uh, at most times when he's come on as a substitute. Put Beeston on for him. Coella can come off. Put Medina on. Right, let's hope these changes. We've got to really be careful with the bloody tackles in the box, thank you. Right, Ruiz. Oh, we can't take any more players off now. We've been all over them here. They've had one shot, which was a penalty. They've scored. We've had 10 shots, five on target. We really do deserve a goal. This doesn't deserve to be a Celtic winning. This is really disappointing. Frustrating is the word, actually. They're going to score again here. No, they haven't. Right, can we get a late equaliser? Ayani doesn't know what to do, but... Somehow uses in that loses the ball. 
Oh, there we go. Goalkeeper mistake. Yes, get in. Daniel Ruiz. Can always count on him to uh, do something against Celtic. So, yeah, we're back in the game. 1-1. One, one. Time is ticking. Extra time is now going to be played. Our knackers, our players, our knackers are played, I nearly said then. Our players are knackered. Sorry, I got worried then. I thought I took off the wrong player. All right, there we go. Can we take any more players on? No. That's fine. Oh, I really should have took Ruiz off. He is knackered, bless him. All right, let's try encouraging the players. We have been the better team. Celtic don't deserve to win this, but it might not be in our hands. Tickle plays it out the back to Vivas. Vivas, uh, Vivas, sorry, to Ashby. Uh, right, there we go. Uh, Mella. Mella is money. Bruce, Petrovic. Hodges, now to Ashby. Ashby, he, oh, I thought he scored that then. I thought he bloody scored that. Right, Ruiz with the corner. Come on, Ruiz. None of us want to go to penalties. Meller in possession now. Drives it past the players, loses the ball. Throwing to us. Meller back to Vivas. Vivas over the top to Ashby. Oh, okay. Didn't lead to anything. Right, their goal kick. Can we get the ball off them quickly? I was hoping we'd intercept one of these passes, but then happening by the looks of it. Oh. Celtic will probably score. Oh, no. no. Oh, maybe. Do not give them a... That is really annoying. No way do they deserve to win this. No way. Alright, let's berate the players. Let's see if that does anything. No. Oh, you never know. Is this where we get a late equaliser? Ruiz. Hodgage across to Ashby. Oh. What's happened here? I think we've got a penalty. Oh, we have as well. I don't know. Don't ask me how. There was just loads of confusion and then the ref pointed at the spot. Ruiz now, has he got a chance to keep us in the cup? He does. He bangs that in. Right. There you go, Celtic. Stick that up your arse. Look at that. 16 shots, 10 on target. Right, so it's going to be penalties. Johnson with the penalty for Celtic first. Oh, I thought our goalie had that then. Ah, oh, pressure's on us now. Ruiz. He scored one a couple of minutes ago. Will he score another? Oh, he didn't. Unlucky Ruiz. Right, can uh, Tickle do us a favour here? Come on, Tickle. Mm, this is not looking good. At least we didn't lose in normal time and extra time, though. At least there's that. At least we've had to make Celtic work for it with a penalty. Oh, I thought they were going to save up then. Right, come on. Come on, do it. Miss this, you bugger. Come on, tickle. Tickle, 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 tickle. Oh, tickle. Right, Petrovic. We've got to keep ourselves in this shootout for now. Petrovic, don't miss. Ah, uh, we're out. We are out. Mathematically, we're not, but we're out, basically. Yeah. Tickle, can you be the hero? If they score this now, we're out. Come on, Tickle. Come on, Tickle. Tickle, 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 Tickle. Yes! Get in, Tickle. Right, we've got to score this. We've got to score this to keep ourselves in this. If they miss the next one, we score the next two. It is, it is uh, whatever it's called. Penalty shootout continues. I can't remember what it's called now. Right, come on, Hodgich. Oh, no, that was like the worst penalty ever. That was ridiculous. <sighs> oh, well, we're at the Scottish Cup. We'll just have to concentrate on the Scottish Premiership now. 
If anything, that will help us because that means Celtic's got to play more games. They're tired. The players will be tired. We've got six million. <sighs> right. I'll be back in a minute for the next episode, uh, next part of the episode. Right, and we're back for part three. Um, we're just going to go through the inbox items as always. Uh, I just need to offer him out again because for some reason the DOF automatically rejected the offers. Apparently Ho Hoyland now uh, is now comfortable knocking the ball past an opponent. Um, so he's confident in his pace. So hopefully that will... Has he got good pace, Hoyland? Uh, 15, not too bad actually. Acceleration's getting better as well, so... Off the... Uh, vision... He's getting better. So I think I'm going to need to offer him a new contract. Uh, I think we already played that one anyway. Right. Luckily he doesn't want a minimum fee release clause, so that's good. Right, we've had no offers for these players. Hopefully we'll just release him. We'll just release him. Just release him. Send him where Sterling? Or Sterling? Roxon. Bloody hell. He would have gone nicely with Rocco, Rocky, and uh, now Rocky, wouldn't he? Have we got him on our shortlist? Yeah, I'll get rid of him. Right, Che Adams is signed for us. Let's buy him now. There we go. Signed in, 1.7 million. Not too bad. Good cover for Hoyland. We had an offer of 425,000. We could have negotiated that if I hadn't gone on holiday. Like some players doing well in training. Just give them a little bit of praise. Let's see how they're doing. Let's try it. Let's look at Mella first. Oh, he's doing really well in training. Crossing's improved, dribbling's improved, free kick taking's improved, marking, passing, bravery, composure. Decisions, leadership. He is doing really well. Agility. Fair play to him. Let's have a look at Beeston. Similar, he's improving in quite a few categories. So that's good as well. Send him out on loan. Because he's not really playing any any game time and he's uh it's a detriment to him if he's just sitting on the bench. Right, has he gone yet? Oh, he has gone. He ended up going to bulk up for 350k. He's, he looks like a good little player. And play in various different positions. Uh, no, it's not what I wanted to do. Send him out online. Uh, let's go through these as quick. Oh, I'll leave Bernie. Nah, we've got Che Adams. I don't need to sign another. Actually, he's a free transfer. I will sign him. Good mentor. I'm thinking mentorship more than anything else. Uh, I'll add him to the shortlist. Right. Oh, another player doing well in training. Ryan Levine. 
Yeah, he's doing well, actually. Low self-belief, though. He's doing well for somebody with low self-belief, isn't he? Right, Higgins has gone on loan. Brendan Barr, seven million. Hmm. How much do we pay for him? Four million. Do you give us fifteen million you can have him? Yeah, I didn't think so. Guess he's not leaving them. Right. Ross Boo's gone. Weedland's gone on loan. Hoyland's doing well in track. Actually, let's see how Hoyland's doing. Proving in heading, leadership, positioning, vision, acceleration. Oh, we would look to the middle, didn't we? I just remember. Sorry, everyone. Right. Got rid of him. Released him as well. Che Adams, good experienced striker. How did he do at Southampton at the end? Got seven goals last season. Not going to exactly... I think he'll be a good improvement. Um, I think he, he, he'll he he'll get some game time. I don't think he'll play loads, though. But he is, he'll be a good mentor. Him, McBurney, could be good mentors for... Uh, Young players. Good cover on the bench as well in case we're, we're losing and we need uh, an experienced striker to get to grip on the game when Hoyland's not playing well. Let's just see if he wants to join. Where's training? Training, there we go. There you go. Hopefully he's joined one of the mentoring circles. Has he? Hmm, might not have. Nah. Right, big game ahead of us now. Top of the league game. So where's Celtic at the moment then? So Celtic, uh, oh God, look at that. Neck and neck. Neck and neck. The only thing that's helping us is goal difference. Uh, if we beat Hearts 5-0, 6-0, happy days. Uh, we can't lose to them, though. Right. Here we go. Tickling goal. Ayano is right back. Vivers is left back. Naraki in the middle with Backer. Becker. Becker? Backer. And then Petrovic and Krasniki in midfield. Uh, Kawella uh, on the right. Um, Har oh, 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 no. I can't get me myself. Onahan in the middle. Ruse on the left and Hoyle up front. Let's go. Let's go. Biggest game of the season so far. I said that about the Celtic game though, didn't I? First highlight looks like it's going to hearts. Again, I can only apologise if it's difficult for people to figure out who's who. Uh, the only way I can help you is if they're wearing white shorts, they're hearts. If they're wearing blue shorts, they're us. Right, good, good, good. Ruiz, come on. Onahan! Yay! Right. Onahan with his first goal for us. Celtic aren't playing today, so we ain't really got to worry about that. We've just got to concentrate on this game. We've got to try and beat them by a couple of goals. Get that goal difference up because it might end up just the time might end up being decided on goal difference the way it's going. Ruiz. Ooh, good save by their goalie. We're about to take off um, Omaha already because he's knackered. 
Bar is on for him. At least he scored before he had to come off. Yanu's knackered for Ashby on. Let's get a couple of goals in this game, I think. Right, Ruiz with the corner. Oh, lovely over the top ball there. Oh, that, I don't know if that's going to be allowed. I think that might be offside. Bit of a weird one that was. No, didn't think so. VR, VAR is not in our favour today. Uh, put Medina on for Cruella. Well, he's uh, completely dropped off lately. He's not playing very well at all. Petrovic is not playing particularly well. Can't take any more players off there. Annoyingly, Hearts have got a... Oh, that was lucky. Okay, Vivers. Right, let's not mess up here. Let's not mess up. Be Becker, Becker, sorry. Ruiz. Uh, Chris Nicky, over the top ball, what a ball, go on Medina, <gasps> Medina should have done better than that. Right, 1-0 won't be the end of the world, but we could have done with a couple more goals, we just can't concede. No. <sighs> We get so close and then we just, and then just, ah, oh, just so frustrating. They'll probably win this now. Momentum's on their side. Uh, yeah, come on, ref, come to our rescue there. I think that was a foul on the ref, personally. Thank you. Thank God for that. Right, running out of time here. Hearts still. Ah, this is so frustrating. Right, fire up the players. A couple of minutes left. Come on. Come on. Ah. Opportunity to dent our title arrivals and we missed it. Celtic will probably end up winning that game, the next game. A yarn is out for a few weeks as well, which is a bit of a disaster. Uh, Longoni's a pretty good goalkeeper, isn't he? Send him back out on loan. Right, um, let's have a look. So, yeah, we've got one more game ahead of us. We're having a really bad month, this one. We, we haven't won a game yet. Right then, I'll be back in a minute for the next part of the episode. And we're back for the final part of the episode. And um, we'll just go through all this. Loan offer for him. Uh, we turned down that offer. Oh, I don't know. Let's offer him out again. Right, let's just go through these now. Salazar, no. We had um, Omahan Babascu was in the team of the week, which was quite funny because he came off after 20 minutes. So he must have made such a hell of an impression in that short period of time. Uh, Tezgel. Uh, striker that we've sent on loan to Dundee United. He got in the team of the week. Did he score against us? Maybe he did, I don't know. Uh, let's have a look, actually. I didn't even wreck it. I didn't even realise he had scored if he did. I oh, know he didn't score against us. No, I don't think he played in that team. Anyway.
coming up towards the end of the transfer window as well. Taking a while to load. Come on. Why is this stalling? Right, we've got Falkirk next. Apparently he's good enough to be a squad player for us, but I'd rather just keep him out there on loan for the season. We've got plenty of strikers anyway. Valencia's not happy, he'll change his squad status. Fine, you can go on loan then. We've got Che Adams and McBurney, two Scottish international strikers. Are they current Scottish internationals? Uh, I want to check on Gary Ruby in a minute. Oh, right. No, Ben Dorick's the main striker. They must be a bit, yeah, they must be nowhere near the, uh, oh well, uh, a lot of players I don't recognise in this team. Is Gary Rue, that's Gary Rue. Let's, let's see how Gary Rue's doing, because we haven't checked on him for a while. Let's, uh, let's have a look. 88 to 135 million still. He has played 12 games for the season, uh, 10 games in the league. Doing quite well. So, uh, yeah, still not been playing for Scotland though, which I find hilarious. We've had an offer for Bruce. It's because we've brought that backer on loan. But I don't want to get rid of Bruce, so now I'm going to turn that down. And we're kicking off because. Uh, we should give Sandy Joyner more games. He is a good player, though. But let's try and send him out on loan instead, get him first-team football there. Right, Rafe Rovers versus Falkirk next game. It's taking ages to get to this bloody game. But yeah, it's a blast from the past. We had him on loan in my first season, didn't we? Yeah, two goals in nine games. Wasn't massively great. Then he went on to play for Colsus, whatever they're called. Uh, did well there. Played a bit here and there for Sporting. Mostly their reserves. I'm amazing he's still so highly valued for somebody who barely played for the first team. He is 23 though. You know what? Sod it. Uh, I'm not going to pay that much though. There we go. Right then. So we've got Tickle in goal. Ashley is right back. Vivaz and Naroki in defence. Bruce is back as left back. Hodges and Kresnicki in midfield. Coella on the right, Onahan in the middle, Medina on the left, and Yamu up front. So a bit of a rotate, rotated team by the looks of it. Che Adams is on the bench. Is McBurney as well? No. Alright, we've got to keep an eye on the Celtic and Hearts game. Hopefully Aberdeen and Dundee can do us a favour, but probably isn't going to happen. Oh, that was a nasty tackle. Send him off, ref. Yep, they're down to 10 men. That'll help us in this game.
Right, I think it's uh it's a not of if, it's just when now, isn't it? We're just picking them apart slowly here. Bruce to Medina. Medina carries on. Oh. Right, corner to us, Chris Nicky with the corner. Still nil nil in the other games. Them drawing and us winning will help us. Will it will keep us in the title uh, title chase anyway? Uh, come on, I feel like we should be beating these easily. Oh, I've just seen Aberdeen score. Krasnicki across to Ashby. Ashby now. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Omahan again. Omahan. I keep calling it Oma. Omahan. Yeah. Hearts are losing, so that helps us. Celtic are drawing. We're winning. Could be a really good result for us. Let's have a look at the league table now. If it's, We will go back to being top if the results stay the same, but I just don't think that's going to happen. Let's take a few players off. Right, there we go. The weather can come off as well. Che Adams will give him his debut. Yep, Celtic are winning. I thought that would happen. Right, corner to us. Ashby. Taking his bloody time. Come on, let's get another one. I don't want a 1 0 win against a 10 man team, thank you. Aberdeen is still beating Hearts, so that's good. All right, can we get another goal right at the end? Hodgich. Passing it around nicely. Ashby goes past the player. Yes, get in. Rocky. I knew, he could, I knew he'd be a good signer for us. I just had a feeling. There we go. Are we still top, though? I think mean, maybe Celtic might have overtook us. I think we're still top. Uh, we didn't get Rivera, we went to Nice. Right, let's have a look at the league table before we go. So yeah, so we uh, we're looking, we're so lucky because we've had a terrible couple of games, but um, yeah, we're we're top by the skin of our teeth, one point. Let's have a look at the fixtures for the next episode in advance. So we've got four Scottish Premiership games left before the Championship playoffs start. We've got Aberdeen, Rangers, Dundee and Hibs. So it's going to be a tough, tough episode next episode. But we'll see how we get on tomorrow with that. Uh, thank you as always for following. If you're not subscribed, can you please subscribe? It does make a big difference to us. Um, and I'll be back tomorrow. Bye.